Welcome, I'm Dr. Afarok and in this video I show you how to find a concentration distribution inside the S square using console multiphysics. It is our model, we have four bounded conditions. In this boundary we have 10 mole per cubic meters concentration. For this boundary we have 20 mole per cubic meters concentration. And for this boundary and also for this boundary we don't have any flux. The objective is to find the concentration distribution inside our model. For us start the modeling, let's move on to console multiphysics. For us start, click on model wizard, select 2D because we have two dimensional. Here we have we don't have a follow it follow or heat transfer, only we have mass transfer, so chemical species transport, and select transfer of diluted species because we have mass transfer about the concentration. Okay, click on study. We have a steady state simulation, so click on stationary. And click on done. The first step is creating the domain. So right click on geometry, select the square, the side length is 4, OK, and build select. OK, so now let's move on to transfer of diluted species. Right click, select concentration. OK, the concentration is 10 mole per cubic meters. OK, right click again. Select concentration and select this boundary. And the concentration is 20 more per cubic meters. Okay, click on transport properties one. In this example, we don't have convection, so the velocity in x or y direction is zero. This is a fusion coefficient, it's value one e minus nine. Okay, so let's want to mesh one. Click on a build, okay. Click on stationary and compute the model. Okay, you see that here we have a concentration distribution and the streamline or the flux direction is from right to left because we have higher concentration in this boundary. Okay, you see that here. We can change the distribution colors, for example, here. You can use different. Color. Okay. Now let's want to transfer the species, transfer properties one, and here we change the diffusion coefficient. So we use minus five and compute the gain. Okay. You see that the distribution of the concentration. So let's want to a data set. Right click and cut line 2D, 0, 0, okay, 4, and 0. It is our distribution or the line concentration about this boundary, okay? So right click on result, boundary plot group, and the line graph, and we select cut line 2D, okay? It is our distribution about the concentration that is linear okay now uh, back to line and for this example we have four for the x and for y we have two so a lot here you see that we have a, a line a center of the, our model so you see that we have also at the linear distribution so we change the boundary condition so we select another boundary for example, this boundary, and we use 5 more per cubic meter concentration and compute again. Click on line graph one, and here you see that we have a nonlinear distribution or the variation of concentration inside the center of the S square. Okay. As you see that now we change the diffusion again, we use minus 15 and run again okay you see that for the concentration distribution when we have a steady state simulation the effect of diffusion is very very low so you see that it's uh, not dependent so if you if you use lower value for example minus one and stationary 
we can see that when we use low value or the high value the distribution change is not a significant variation we cannot see a significant variation about the concentration so you see that when we have a steady state simulation the effect of transfer properties is not significant okay another one condition that we can use transfer other species is flux so we use one okay and the compute again okay you see that here we have a low concentration because we have outward flux <laughs>